and get cut up. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I haven't even taken the time to look, so I'm gonna. Dude, I'm gonna subscribe to you. What's with Mrs. Nation's history? Okay, all one word. Okay, so. Oh well, that's nice. I don't know. I don't know, but I need you to can it because we got to get moving. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find similarities and differences between all three of these. The other thing that we're going to do is we are going to get your. Uh, performances set up because Jefferson's presidency is filled with awesome stories and there's just no point just sitting there just talking about it. I want to actually see you act these suckers out. And yes, I'm doing it mainly for my own entertainment, <laughs> but I'm also doing it for your entertainment as well. So instead of you taking a test, you are going to actually get up here and perform one of the events from his presidency. And you are going to draw them out of a cup today and determine what those are. But that will be what we do at the end. And then you will research and you will write a script. And each of you in your group will write a script for one scene. So there is an individual element to this project and a group element to the project. Okay? You're also going to do an exit ticket every single day. And I'm going to give you participation points based on what I see and what I hear from your group mates. And we're doing one of those today. Okay? Kendall, thank you for waiting. Um, number one is, are we going to be in the group of the English now? Yes. Okay. So you don't get to pick your group on this one, but I, I promised Warford that we would do something else where you get to pick your group next time. So I kind of like to switch <laughs> off. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the quasi closed pin. We're going to start talking about Washington. What are some things that happened in his presidency? So, Ms. Spencer, in the back of the room, will you please tell me something? From Washington? Um, the whiskey Rebellion. Whiskey Rebellion, indeed. Okay, now, if you put Whiskey Rebellion on your paper, what should you do right now? Check mark. Check. Check mark. If you do not have Whiskey Rebellion, what should you do? Write, write, it, write it down. Yes, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. I'm watching you people. I want to see excellence today. Okay, so we got Whiskey Rebellion. Okay, and then Medina, what's something else from Washington? Uh, I think it's Jay's Treaty. Yes, excellent. That's one that a lot of people forget about. Jay's Treaty. Speak freely, class. What country did he sign that with? Right. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. All right, so let's get another one. Blanchard. Yes. Okay, so cabinet, class, what branch is that under? Executive. Executive. So I'm going to put an E, and I'm going to put cabinet. All right, Davis. Uh, he, uh, the Judiciary Act. Ooh, you can even remember the names. Nice. Okay. Judiciary Act of 1789. Class, tell me, what is established under that law? The Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Supreme Court and the court system. So I'm going to put sub court and sis. Oh. All right. Now, uh, Berkey. Staying neutral. Ooh, yes, and also staying neutral in the war between France and Britain. Yes, France and Britain. Thank you. Okay. I had a problem. Okay. I know. I know. I know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put an N with a big circle for neutrality, and then I'm going to put a B and an F, and I don't mean boyfriend, I don't mean best friend, I mean Britain, and I mean France. Okay? So that's what we're talking about there. Tindall. On the established what? Yes. Okay. Precedent. Set. No more than two terms. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to open the floor, speaking freely. Is there anything that we have left out? Warford. Okay, we've got that with the Judiciary Act of 1789. I think we've got it all. We've got J's, we've got neutrality. Um, I think that's it. Except Brown? Or something like that? Okay. Wasn't there another president that served like four years? That would be FDR in the 40s, right? And so there's no constitutional amendment. Stating that there is a standard until after FDR. Okay. Right? I don't need to be talking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, when, uh, more than two turns, because I wasn't sure. Right. So it's not until after 1945 that the Constitution actually says a 
you cannot go more than two turns. So yeah. Okay. So interestingly <laughs> enough, I mean, it takes until nobody goes over the two term limit until him in the forties. So I mean, Washington's president is just like him, huh? FDR was, was pretty good for his time, and I think people had a great deal of faith in him, you know, because not only does he bring them out of the Depression, but he also gets them through World War II successfully, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he really just stopped because his health just wouldn't allow him to continue. So, it was not set in constitution. No. The, I, mean, into, I mean, and that's amazing, because this is 1789, right? when this is all established and this just remains a precedent it's not even laid out in the constitution and people just follow it until FDR in the 1940s, right? So, yeah, exactly, sort of. FDR is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yep, so there you go. Hugh, what can we do for you? My book. Get it. Okay, hey. question was, was Eleanor and uh, uh, Teddy and uh, Franklin, are they all related? Okay, Penny and Franklin are cousins. Oh, okay. Okay, and then Eleanor is Franklin's wife. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'm okay, so let's go ahead and get, get to John. Okay, so John Adams. Chinch, give me something for uh, John Adams. U.S. Navy, he creates it. Yes, that is correct. Soto, John Adams. Oh, um, so... I think that then he was involved in the XYZ affair. Yes. Yeah. XYZ affair. Mm -hmm. All right, Lamont. Yes. All right, Sam. Um, Okay, um, let's see, Cornell. Um, the Library of Congress and the National Capital is established. Okay, so Library of Congress. And then I'm going to put, because, I mean, Adams does not establish D.C. Right. It's George Washington who says, okay, this is where it's going to be, and then he gets Lawn Pond to go ahead and design it. Right. And Adams is the first to reside in it, right? But what you need to know is that D.C. is completed kind of under his, his administration. So I'm going to put D.C. Finished? Finished, yeah. Okay. So, we might have missed something. I mean, we've got quite a bit. So I'm going to let you guys speak freely. Do you see anything that we're missing? Anything that you have? It's not up here. So that. We argued with the cabinet not to with Okay, yeah, that happens before the XYZ affair, remember, because it is, he switches his position, because if you recall, we talked yesterday, it is the XYZ affair that gets his panties in a wad, right? Because it's like, mm -mm -mm. because remember, France comes and says, you know, you got to pay us X amount of dollars before we'll even deal with you again, so they're just jerking us around. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put in... B F okay before before this right so and the cabinet you said this Kendall didn't you the cabinet wanted him yeah have wanted to support France okay. you know what I mean? that's okay case uh, yeah, it's he did, and poor old John Quincy made for a really bad president. So do I need to write that down? You do not. Okay, <laughs> right? Brown. Uh, but, like, wasn't it, but, like, the administration, like, like, that's kind of turning your back on the first president if you wanted them to support France, right? Because, that is, is that? Okay, you're that talking that? about turning your back on Washington's yes. plan? Yes. Yes. And, I mean, you'll notice as you go through life, that that happens with every new president that comes along, right? Mm -hmm. That I mean, I can tell you that as a teacher, mm -hmm. right? Because presidents will come in and say, well, you know, in terms of education, we're going to do this and that, and then a new president comes in and that's dead, and now we got a new plan, okay. right? So, 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 so if you never expected, oh, let's just forget about that plan and let's try to convince him to do something else, right? 
Okay. Except because Washington's gone. So you're catching on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a changing of the guard. It's a changing of viewpoints. It's a changing of all kinds of things when you switch to a new president sometimes. Okay. okay. So keep that in mind. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Jefferson and you're going to write because you don't have this. And here's what I'm going to focus on. Just touching the highlights of his administration. And those highlights are what you're going to perform and research and write scripts about. Okay. So instead of me going in depth and getting into the nitty gritty, I'm just going to kind of give you like a really brief synopsis of each thing, meaning like a sentence or two, and then moving on. And then we'll draw and see which of these you get to do. So here we go. All right. Get to writing. Election of 1800. Peaceful transfer. Of power. The reason why is because we are going from Adams, who is a Federalist, to Jefferson, and I'll get out of your way here, who is a Republican. I can hear some people over there. Okay, all right. So, and now I know, I mean, I tell people this every year, and people look at me and they're like, oh, right? But in the world, in the 1800s, if your kingdom or your country goes through a leadership change, people get hats, okay? They get the panties in a wad and they beat people up. And civil war even <laughs> breaks out, okay? So for us in the 1800s to have a transfer, especially of two different political parties holding presidential office, and everybody to just kind of sit around and go, oh, okay, I got it, blows other people's minds around the world because that's unheard of, okay? <laughs> and still in 2013, there are like lesser developed nations that go into civil war when there is a switch of leadership still in 2013. We do not, okay? When Obama <laughs> won, nobody busted out with a machine gun and went to the mall and tried to, you know, mow us all down because they were hacked that he won. Okay. There may have been some people who wanted to, but they did not. This establishes a, and there's this word again, precedent, an example of being, not getting all freaked out and being a dork, right? So, Brent. Oh, is that a T or F? That is an F. Okay. okay. For Federalist. No, Sorry. Okay. okay. All right. The next thing that we got is we got Jefferson's inauguration which is weird, but also very significant. And some of you are going to get to figure out and act out how weird it is. Okay. And then one of my personal favorites, a duel <laughs> between Burr, B-U-R-R, -R, who is Jefferson's vice president, and Alexander Hamilton. So yes, the guns come out, and they walk an X amount of paces, and blam -o! And yes, somebody dies, but I'm not telling because you get to figure it out yourself, and you get to act it out. This is all in one performance. What? Mr. Hayes. Two questions. Is Hamilton still Secretary of Treasury? Not under Jefferson. Hmm? He remained Secretary of Treasury for Adams and for Washington. What is he is he just some guy? He's a leader of the Federalist Party, but I don't think he has a political position. But we'll have to get that. Your that you're already going to be like. Oh, and like, and like, what, what, what do they do? Because then, like, you know, I don't want to tell you that. I don't think that's the really good part of the okay. story. So I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. And I want you to figure it out yourself. Okay, that's all one performance. The next performance is the Louisiana Purchase, which is awesome. I mean, because, yes, it does double the size of the United States, which I'm going to write that down. 1803 doubles size of U.S. But the other thing that's awesome is you've got Napoleon in there, right? And we're having to make deals with Napoleon, which is always bizarre at best. And then you've got Jefferson, who's essentially trying to be sneaky and make this deal. Napoleon's trying to be sneaky, and everybody's trying to manipulate each other in this little chess game. Then the representatives that we send over to make the purchase, they're trying to be sneaky, and it's all this subversive, secret, you know, 
mumbo jumbo that you're going to get to act out. And, you know, maybe somebody can be Napoleon, which would be interesting. Okay, then we've got the manly, manly event of Lewis and Clark. Okay, Lewis and Clark, of course, you probably already know, is essentially Jefferson saying, Hey, Lewis, hey, Clark, I want you to go out to Louisiana where blank is a part is what's there. There are almost there are virtually no maps. Good luck. See you later. Hope you come back. When you come back, I hope to know a little more about what's out there, right? So, you know, and they actually have tryouts to see who can be on the Corps of Discovery and have to prove your toughness, all this dorky crap like that. And yes, they starve and have to eat candles and eat horses and all kinds of crazy crap like that. Okay. All right. Good story there, too. And then this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write words down and you're going to be like, what is she talking about? Impressments. Write these down, too. Yes, write these down. Impressments. A little more Napoleon. Napoleonic Wars. <laughs> I'll show you here in a minute when I move out of the way. Okay, Well, it'll be like a little test to see if people. What about the story like the Duke of like Ellington? Or In or real what, life? Uh, no. Oh, Wellington. Wellington. You're thinking of Waterloo. Waterloo is part of the Napoleonic Wars, but you don't need to worry about it here. Okay. Embargo, E M B A R T. Embargo. Embargo. Oh, it's like an embryo. No. <laughs> the embryo act. Okay. <laughs> Interesting that you said that. Our state just passed a very controversial abortion law yesterday. So. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then Bria threatened us with Yeah, Bria. Anyway. Uh, okay, so. Okay. 
All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to see which one you're going to perform. Or four and five. Four and five, four and five are separate. So four is a performance and five is a performance. Okay, now here's, okay, we'll get your question in just a minute. I need you guys to listen to this very carefully and then we'll do our comparison contracts. I need you right now to figure out who in your group will not lose their agenda between now and tomorrow. And they are going to write down on today's column in their agenda what you draw. Then I want you to send somebody else over here to draw. Not the person who's writing it, somebody else. Come on up here. And I'm going to wait for all of you to get here before we draw. Okay? All right. Now, I need you to go. How's that person write it down? And then the Okay, all right, I'm gonna hold it up. I love you. Okay. 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 And you know, if I ever get groovy, I'm kind of like, you can't ever get groovy again, and then I have to write it again. Okay, you can have to write it down. Yeah, you can go read the more. You're doing all of this. Okay, all right? Yes. Okay, we're doing all of this. I'm checking. Okay, all right? Return the slips. We got Jefferson's and Right? Okay, now here's what I want you to do. I want you right now as a group, very, very quickly, to write down and discuss what are the similarities between these three or between two of them and what are differences between them. And I'm going to give you about a minute and a half and then I'm going to call randomly on you. Go. Write it down. Okay, 
Yes, that would be that's that's a better one than what we've had so far because you've got the quasi war, okay, and then you've got where's the whiskey rebellion? Where did I put it? It sure is. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so we've got two wars going on. That's a similarity there. Raise your hand if your group has a similarity that we haven't put up there. Okay. Okay, so we've got cabinets here, um, and then we've got cabinet here, and I'm not going to search for it, but I'm going to write it. And actually, I didn't. I mean, they all presidents have cabinets. Okay, so it's actually a three across the board similarity. Okay, Paul. Um, they were all neutral. <coughs> okay, yeah, he's neutral the whole time, right? And then these two guys are neutral. Um, pretty much, he's half the time. And he's full time. Okay. So that one, you could even get into differences with that one too. Okay. So that even makes it more confusing. Led better. They both had max Yes, they did. Which ones? The judiciary act and the other one is the cage judiciary act. Okay. And then there's one more. And so all three, all three, exactly. Okay. All right. Um, let's go differences, which I'm going to mark in green. Okay, Tyndall. Um, well, Washington's trying to establish a government. Adams is trying to use it and pass laws and stuff. And Jefferson's trying to expand it. Ooh. They're all trying to do different things. Ooh, I like that. Establish, and you're saying use. Okay, and this is expand. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I know it may be hard to read when I'm writing, but establish the government, use the government, expand the government, because we've got it essentially growing. There's exploration. Right, exactly. No, I love that. Okay. Um, any other differences? I can think of one right off the bat. Okay. Tyndall? Um, well, like, Washington is, um, he doesn't want to be president. And Adam is like really big and bad. He's like our president. Yeah. And then um, Jefferson just kind of like takes it. He just wants it. Okay. All right. So are you saying humility? What? What? What does it mean? Um, arrogance. <laughs> Business like. <laughs> Okay. okay, if you were to compare him to Adams, more yeah. humble, <laughs> right? Um, but when you bad. compare him to Washington, there, there's, there's humility not here. You know what I'm saying in comparison to this one. Okay, um, Jefferson was not 100%. He did some things that were sneaky and questionable, and you're about to find that out. Okay. All right. Um, the other thing that you missed was we've got Federalist with an F. We've got, was that what you were going to say? Good. And we've got Republican down here. Okay. Um, there's no political party with Washington. They don't get created until he leaves because he won't allow them. But if he were to be put in one, he'd be a Federalist. But he's just not technically one because they don't exist yet um, when he's around. Actually, if you want me to blow your mind, you want to know what these guys were called that Jefferson's a part of? They were called Democratic Republicans. Yeah. Okay. But I haven't said that to you because it usually makes everybody go, what? Okay. George was nothing. There was no political party. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to really, 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 really move it. So you need to gather up everything. This is a page in your notebook and go sit somewhere else. Um, 20, no, 29, right, okay, all right, go, 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 spread out, don't sit with your group, okay, listen, I need you to park your tush quickly. All notes have got to disappear and hide under something or in something because you cannot look at them for the exit ticket. Some of you were very um, close to having to stay in the room the last time we did this. So what I'm going to tell you is that I want specificity. 
I want you to tell me what was something you learned about Jefferson, or what was a similarity or a difference that we discussed. I don't want you to blow smoke up my hiney and give me something general and vague or in full crap. Okay? So give me good stuff. Yeah, you're 40, 49. This is going to get Okay? And I'm going to give you about two minutes in the room to work on this. Then we're going to go down to the library. If you need to finish it down there, you can, and I'll collect it from you there. Oh, I'll right. explain. Yeah, just, yeah, we're going to the library too. Well, yeah. Can I have my backpack with me so I don't come over here to get it? All right, no more talking. Okay, so we're going to have, we're having the competition, the library competition today. Alright, so I've been telling everybody, freak show list on the way down, and no freak shows while we're down in the library. And it's been perfect. I may just have to bring something for everybody, but of course, you guys, I hope you don't break that trend. Alright, but it's been awesome. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to carry everything, including the exit ticket, out, right, in the open. If you need to finish it, you can do it when we get in there, and I'll check it while she's talking to you. No freak show! Okay, yeah, no freak show. Okay. Okay.
explanation. Anymore. Come on in. Sorry. Whoa. Have a seat. 